Can you stage your home without breaking the bank and actually sell for more money? Every year I've looked at hundreds, if not thousands of homes in person and online. And I track these homes that are staged, look staged or homes that well aren't. And I can tell firsthand what's working, which homes sell quickly and for more money. So in this video, I'll share with you before and after photos of a home that I helped stage and what a difference it made in terms of the number of offers that we got and how quickly it got under contract. And then I'll share five practical tips on how you can stage the home yourself or how much it costs to hire a professional stager. And make sure you stay to the end and I'll reveal how much my clients ended up selling their house for. And it was a lot. So what happened is my clients, Glenn and Christy, put their home on the market for $669,000. And they got an offer relatively quickly, but they only got one offer. So during the escrow stage, it actually fell out of escrow. They couldn't agree with the buyers during the inspection stage. Eventually they put it back on the market. And they didn't get any other offers. They were still living there and they had their own furniture. They tidied up, but it didn't look professionally staged or picture perfect. And then eventually after a couple months, they pulled it off the market. And by that time, because they really needed to move, they ended up moving out of the house. So when I met them, which was a few months later, they decided to put their house on the market. But the thing was, it was vacant. So as I walked through the house, and I'm gonna just share some photos with you right now. Here you can see when I first came to the house, this was the living room. It was completely vacant. So there isn't very much personality or coziness to the home. It looks like a very nice floor. I love the color of the walls. Here's another perspective of the living room looking the other way. So here's the fireplace, a little built-in shelves. So there's lots of light coming in, which is really nice. And this is what it looked like after being staged. Wow, what a difference this makes. So there's kind of two seating areas here, a nice L-shaped sofa, not too big. And then there's a sitting area with a bookshelf here. And just what a difference it makes. So if we just go back, if you were to walk into this house versus, there's almost no comparison. So when they had the house on the market a few months before with their furniture, this is what they had online and in person. So this is their own furniture here big sofa it looks really comfortable and they had a little workstation here in the corner and they had their decorations in the bookshelves a little cluttered as you can see and then this basket and plant and it looks very livable but it just doesn't have the same wow factor as being staged and then now we can just compare before and after so this is after it's staged and this is before so what what a difference it makes. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hey, real quick, I'm Jade in San Diego and my channel is all about helping homeowners sell their property quick and for more money. Made simple. So if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and advice on selling your property. And now back to the video. And then, so just moving on into the dining room. So when I first saw it, it looked like this. It was empty, no dining table, pretty barren. And then this is what it looked like after staging. So actually it's a different perspective, but here that pop of color with blue, I think is just gorgeous against the white cabinets and granite countertops. There's a clock right here, which is really nice. And this is what it was before when they had it on the market originally. Very nice. It was a bigger dining table, kind of countertop here, bigger furniture, and they had bar stools here with just a very tiny kind of small lip of a breakfast bar. Well, the stagers, they didn't replace the bar stools, so I think it just created a lot more space. And so here you can see the comparison between this space and this space. And they also changed the pendant lights here. So I think that it just was a very big improvement on what they've done. And now moving on to the primary bedroom, here it was empty. 
Here it was, not very much personality and you could do a lot with it, but it is a little difficult to envision and imagine what it's like with actual furniture. Here is the after photo of when it's staged. What do you think? Isn't it amazing? It just looks so inviting and it just looks beautiful with the matching bedside tables and the matching lamps and just very simple, the plant here and a dresser and all new bedding. The window treatments are open and now you can see what it was before when it was originally on the market here. It was actually a different colored wall. It was kind of a coral peach. They had the bed placed differently. There was a lot more knickknacks. So you can move this out into the garage and just create more space. And definitely when they decided to put it back on the market second time around, it was a really good choice to just go a bit more neutral in color. So here you can see the comparison of the two bedrooms. I mean, they look like completely different places. It doesn't even, and also notice what a difference it is with opening up the window blinds here. There just seems like a greater sense of space, taking away the curtains. So when you have the photos online, it'll just make this wow factor and your photos will just definitely pop. So really think about what is gonna attract buyers and how you're gonna entice them online because 97% of buyers are looking online first. So now we're gonna go to a bathroom and this was the original bathroom. I guess they really like this color blue. They kind of have it a marine theme here with a fish and a seahorse and here's a little turtle and brown towels. So what they did, this was the first time around and what they did the second time around is they painted the walls, more neutral, new bath towels, and more neutral paintings on the wall. So it's just a lot more inviting. And that other blue here, you can see them next to each other. I mean, that blue is just so bright. And obviously they loved it, but you are going to possibly put off some other buyers that just don't like this kind of strong, aqua blue turquoise and this kind of more taupe color might be more appealing to a larger set of buyers. And moving on to one more no-no is in the kitchen originally here they had personal photos and mementos, which is great if you're living in the house, but if you're taking professional photos and posting this online, make sure to take off all the fridge magnets and the utility bills and make it more clutter free in the space. So what can you do to stage the home yourself that is easy and practical? I've got five tips for you to make your home stand out from the crowd. So moving on straight to tip number one is to declutter, depersonalize and create space. Experts say to declutter your space by 25 to 50% of your belongings. You are going to pack up and move eventually, right? So might as well start before you put your house on the market and take those professional photos. So go around the house and grab a garbage bag and a box, one for garbage and the box for donations and just set a timer and just go. Go look at things that you haven't used in the past year that you probably won't use and also go around the house and take down photos or mementos that are personal to you and put them away so that when buyers come into your house, they can envision themselves in your home. So go around and pick up all these items and you can donate them to Goodwill, the Salvation Army, or I'm sure there are a lot of donation centers around your city. And also thin out your closet, take away all the clothes and items that you won't be using in the next two to three months and just pack them away or anything that doesn't fit or just doesn't look right anymore. It's time to donate them. Okay, moving on to tip number two. 
is upgrade your furniture. So this might cost a little bit of money, but as you saw in the photos before, my clients had a very large sofa that took up a lot of space. It just took up the whole room. So think about if it's dated, if it's worn, if you're going to move, maybe actually donating it or selling it on Facebook marketplace or Craigslist, or just moving it into the garage and purchasing a inexpensive new sofa for staging. This will cost a few hundred dollars, but you can go to Ikea in San Diego. There is at home and you can definitely pick up a sofa for under a thousand dollars and it will make such a difference in your space. There are also Facebook groups such as buy nothing. And if you post on there, you're giving it away for free and you're helping your neighbors and they can probably come and pick up your furniture. Moving on to tip number three is professional photos. I can't stress enough the importance of getting professional photos. These photographers have been shooting thousands of photos that so they know exactly the right angle. They know the lighting and they just know how to paint your home in the best possible light. And as I said before, 97% of buyers are looking online. So you need to have enticing, attractive photos to lure these buyers into your home and walk in through the front door. There are so many gorgeous homes on the market, on TV. Buyers are always comparing your home to one of those renovation shows. So you need to make your photos stand out as much as possible. And it, this really cannot be done without professional photos. So this is definitely a must. Okay, moving on to tip number four is sweat the small stuff. Swap out any personal artwork, any of your kids' artwork, any photos lying around the house, and definitely put in more abstract, neutral pictures or artwork on the walls. And also think about the towels. Consider purchasing new towels just for showings. So not the towels that you use just to take a shower this morning, but towels that are specifically used for when buyers come around your house and also new bedding. So put new bedding on before buyers come. It does make a difference. You can tell the difference and so can buyers. The simple act of staging your homes with new towels and new bedding really gives off a fresh kind of spa like vibe, making buyers feel a little pampered from the get go. And if you have new bedding, it just screams luxury and inviting buyers to kind of just sink in and stay a while because they just love the feel of your place. These little touches can make a big difference in cinching a sale and putting an offer in your hand. Remember, it's all about the details. And tip number five, let the light in. When it comes to staging your home, maximizing light is your best friend. By letting light come into your home, it's just so inviting for buyers. Many stagers will say that showcasing the light is a major selling point. You want to make sure that you open up the curtains or open up the blinds, or even if you've got really big, heavy curtains, stagers will actually take them off. It's just more spacious and bright and airy, or even take the blinds down just to create more light in. Because let's face it, walking into a bright space just puts you in a good mood. Now that we've come to the end of the video, are you curious how much my clients got for their house? Well, the first time that they put it on the market, as you remember, they listed it for $669,000. They ended up getting an offer that was 700,000, but then when it fell out of escrow, they couldn't get another offer. And then when we relisted it a few months later and it was staged beautifully, the staging cost $3,000 and they ended up getting an offer for 
thousand dollars. So even if you put the original offer, which was 700 and just tacked on 3000 for staging, I mean, they made a profit of about $60,000 extra because of the staging. And you can just see with the pictures, how powerful it was. If they had put their house on the market that was vacant, we also had 15 offers and there was a bidding war and we went under contract in less than a week. So it was the best offer. There was a lot of demand for this particular house that definitely wouldn't have been there without the staging. Okay, there you have it before and after pictures of a staged home and five practical tips that you can do. If you're curious on how much it costs to stage a home in San Diego for a 2000 square foot home, it costs around 2000 to $3,000 to stage a home. But a lot of these tips you could do for less than that. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please feel free to call or text me. My details are in the description below. And if you like this video and want to learn more on tips and tricks on how to sell your house quickly and for more money, please hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Hey, if you like that video, check out this one.